Fergus liked helping Mavis, but he didn't like the way the twins were. A brand new tank engine was racing across the island of Sodor. He was very excited. And he didn't want to be late. It's very impressive. This is Arthur, said Sir Topham Hat. Nice to meet you. Puff means he's never been naughty or made a mess, replied Thomas. The three engines were soon at work. Thomas and Percy were bumping freight cars. They knew this was naughty, but they were having fun. Oh, thank you, wished the new engine. He'd never been naughty before. Arthur's first job was to push a trainload of fruit to market. The troublesome truck started to sing. How rude, huffed Arthur. This gave Thomas a naughty idea. Sir Topham Hatt doesn't like the troublesome truck singing, said Thomas. You must stop them. Thank you, said Arthur. I will. Arthur was glad he could keep the troublesome trucks in order. Arthur chuffed cheerfully through the countryside. Soon the troublesome truck started singing again. Stop singing, huffed Arthur. Trucks should do as they are told. The troublesome trucks were cross. If they couldn't sing, they would teach Arthur a lesson instead. We'll show him, they giggled. He can't push us around. Arthur struggled over bridges. And he huffed and puffed through tunnels. He came over the top of a big hill. You can't catch us, laughed the troublesome trucks. Whee! <laughs> but there was trouble ahead. Arthur's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Squashed fruit flew everywhere. Arthur was upset. His spotless record was ruined. Oh, Arthur, what a mess, puffed Thomas. The troublesome trucks were singing. I told them to stop, but they made me go too fast. Thomas told Sir Topham Hatt what he had done. But Thomas, you must help clear up this mess. Everyone worked hard, and Thomas took the loaded trucks away. That evening, Arthur was having the squashed fruit cleaned out of his funnel. Hello, Thomas. Arthur, I'm sorry I played a trick on you, said Thomas. Thanks for owning up to it, replied Arthur. Maybe spotless records are made to be broken, smiled Thomas. And then mended again, finished Arthur, just like friendships. Working on the island of Sodor. He is new to the railway and is still learning his way around. One morning, he discovered the fishing village. The sun made the water sparkle and the seagulls called across the harbor. This was Arthur's favorite place. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. Arthur hoped he would be chosen. He was disappointed. Sir Topham Hatt sent him to haul coal to the steelworks. That evening, Thomas was at the washdown when Arthur puffed in. Do I smell a fishy engine? He teased. Arthur wished he could go to the fishing village instead of the steelworks. He'd be much happier than Thomas. Arthur was surprised to see Thomas in the tidal pool. Are you all right, Thomas? No, John Van will be here soon, called Arthur's driver. Arthur knew he had to hurry. He raced along the line to the docks and arrived there just in time. Later, Arthur went to see Thomas at the fitter's yard. You, said Arthur, I wish I had the fishing village line all the time. Oh. Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. Hey, 
Arthur blurted out. And please, sir, may I run on that line all the time? Thomas doesn't like fish, but I do. Then Arthur was delighted. The next morning, he puffed into the fishing village right on time. The smell of fish was everywhere, but he was sure he had the most beautiful line on the island of Sodor. Murdoch was looking forward to a good night's rest, but Salty and Harvey were full of questions. Have you ever worked Marseille? Well, we're only being friendly, matey. Bulgy was soon fast asleep. But the hens myth. One, two, three, four, five. Can you believe your eyes? Five new wedges in the shed. Celebrate the two. It's shiny but true. He'll be there for you. There's Murdoch and Arthur. <laughs> Then Arthur arrived. Arthur warned Thomas that the route to Brendam Docks was bumpy. Only take five freight cars at a time, said Arthur, and go slow and steady. Arthur carefully collected five freight cars. Then he puffed slowly out of the harbor yard. He didn't want to go slow and steady. Arthur and Salty were already there. Getting clean is lovely, puffed Arthur. Especially when you smell of fish, said Thomas. Railway lines all over the island of Sodor. Percy was waiting at a signal. Arthur puffed slowly into a siding. He had heavy wagons of fish. Arthur's wheels spun as he raced straight into the buffers. The fish shot into the air. Oh no! cried Arthur. Just then, Thomas chased through the junction. Sorry, Arthur, he gasped. Told Emily along the coast track. Have you heard the news? Thomas is back. Oliver and Arthur passed them coming down. They both thought his special was magnificent. But the water wheel was very heavy. 